You want to know, is this woman a whore? And if she's a whore, G-Man, where is your proof? Because if you ain't got no proof, G-Man, you're slandering and you're just as bad as everybody else. Now, now. <laughs> So I've been watching her and I think it's about time this is said. The woman's lying. The woman is not a Christian. There's some rumors going around that she's a former prostitute and maybe she played around with the idea of Christianity. Hey, 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 Bert Tills, I know me and you got off on the wrong, on, on the wrong foot and whatnot, but I gotta give you some of that strudel. Mm -hmm. Burnt Toast. Mm -hmm. Call me Burnt Toast. Call me. Little girls like Burnt Toast who needs to grow up and enter puberty. You know what I mean? What about people like Burnt Toast, the little girl who needs to grow up? Right, Burnt Toast? Let me walk you across the street, Burnt Toast. Okay? Toast knows she wants some of that people's strudel. She knows it. I'll bake you some later when you give me a call. Burnt Toast gets exposed into the ground. Burnt Toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt Toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt Toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Smells like rotten fish, too. And I'm going to prove it. Burnt Toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt Toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt Toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. And I'm going to prove it. So, so anyway, Burnt Toast, I think me and you got off on the wrong foot. I'm gonna give you a second chance to prove yourself. All right? She, she, she's a, she's a huge, huge whore. Burnt toast. She is a whore. Burnt toast. She is a whore. Burnt toast. She is a whore. And I'm going to prove it. Remember, there's a big difference between a righteous judgment and Satan slandering the saints. I, I would never date Burnt Toast. I would never want to conversate with Burnt Toast. I think Burnt Toast is a jerk. I know for a fact that I, I'm really buying into the idea that Burnt Toast is only about maybe 15 or 16 years old. Burnt Toast. Burnt Toast. How is a Christian supposed to behave? I'm just curious. How is a Christian supposed to behave? What's up, guys? It's Thursday. It's a day stream. Whoop. Hope everybody's having a great, great week, great day. Um, couldn't go live yesterday, but today I had some time. Let me get my screen all set up. There we go. What's up, everybody? <laughs> this song plays in my head while I'm peeing or brushing my teeth in the morning. <laughs> You know, get ready. Something Ran it, Rev and Shani never have done before. Oh, well, um, you're welcome, I think. Yes, today I am toasty pizza because apparently Shani wants pizza. So, you know, got to be a troll. <laughs> it's like 8 p.m. here. Yes, yes. So I try to do a day stream about once a week if I have time for my overseas subs. Plus, there's a lot of people that like it during the day, too. So, and you can clip that. <laughs> Yammy, Jackie, thank you so much. T minus six business days till new job. Oop, congratulations. Imagine work. <laughs> Y'all caught that? <laughs> yep. Uh, good morning, Lady Starfire. What is up with you? What's up? Yes. Yeah, so, hmm. So, we're going to, you know, catch up with what we put down last time at the end of part four. This is part five. And uh, yeah, so it's it's interesting that uh, here in this stream, the name of it is We Want Pizza Jesus. <clears throat> she Imagine what you could do with a comma, right? But she's she's wanting pizza almost every day now. And it's like, girl, stop. No. <laughs> You're homeless. You don't get to be choosy. Eat the peanut butter and ramen, okay? Just doing my leather work and have started my new business. Oh, congratulations, Lady Starfire. Look at y'all adulting in the chat. Cool. 
Shaw of Thirst, you are crazy. Thank you so much. Shaw of Thirst just gifted 10 memberships. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I love there's a troll in here called Kelly at Adult <laughs> Protective Services. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my goodness. Okay. So yeah, so this one, she starts off with pizza and then there's a couple of short ones for Rev and then a brief one with G-Man and then we'll probably end in a Rev stream that he did. And you guys let me know if you can hear this, okay. Oh and man. And spaghetti. No, man. <laughs> Beef stroganoff. Yeah, that'd be fucking phenomenal too, yeah. Oh, remember when we got the beef stroganoff at Macaroni Grill all the time? Oh, fuck me, that was good. And the mushrooms. Oh, there. stop it. Oh. Fuck this shit. I always, I always wanted, I always added extra mushrooms on it. Because yeah. it's like, I, when I make my beef stroganoff, I like, I, I put the whole fucking cart in. Yeah, I love that. Oh, gross. I love mushrooms. Mushrooms and beef, man. Oh, oh. yeah. Man. I mean, y'all remember her cooking streams, right? Cooking with rotting food, bugs flying around, her not washing her hands on a dirty ass stove. And Rev gulping down a bottle of Pepto Bismol when he was eating it. Hmm. X for doubt on that, Shani. You make me salivate. Yeah. Ah. Oh. God, I want food. Mm. And I said food. Food. I didn't say fucking Delta Eight. I said fucking food. Okay. I I have cat food. We have gas. We have a little bit of fucking water left. We yeah. need water too. Yeah. But okay, so a quick comment on the water. So let me just clear this up. Okay. They're absolutely lying when they say that they have no water to drink or they, they can't drink the water in the hotel room that they're in. Okay. First of all, people looked it up. There is no uh, E. coli in their water. There's another county that's completely separate from the one that they're currently in that used to have issues with that or may still do, I don't know. But the actual county and township that they're in right now does not have any E. coli issues. What's happening is there are, there's fracking in the area and it's causing the water to smell a certain type of way. But they have tested it and apparently the water's fine. But in spite of that, the hotel is actually giving out free bottled water, unlimited free bottled water to the people who live there. And all they have to do is walk down to the office and get some more water whenever they want. So don't let them fool you into thinking that you need to give them money so they can have clean water. They have plenty of clean water, which is why they've been drinking bottled water in streams. Okay, they don't have to buy it. They're getting it for free. So I just wanted to say that because I'm not going to let them sit here and be like, oh, we don't have any water to drink. The water is going to kill us. No, it's not. It's just smelly water, which means they could take a shower. They can flush a toilet. There's nothing wrong with the water that's coming out of the faucet. What's up, uh, hippie? What's up? How's everybody doing today? <laughs> But food. It's food. <laughs> and Delta <laughs> 8, I'm fine with Delta 8. You know why I'm fine with Delta 8? And this really pisses me off about G-Man. One day, he comes to our fucking house. Right? One day, he comes to our fucking house, drops this huge bag on our floor, and says, what can you give me? What can you give me? At that point of our lives, we're like, we don't really have anything to give you, really. Because everything we had was just not much. 
Not anymore. So he guilts. So we were trying to refuse to him about this Delta Eight and 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 these these whose house, right? Exactly. Whose house, Jenny? Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe her either. I mean, the the streams that I have that I've watched where they were at the uncle's house and G-Man shows up and Shani and Rev are like, oh, do you want this? Do you want that, brother? <laughs> brother, you, you want this? I'll give you this. I'll give you that. I mean, the way that they were acting in that stream was exactly the way that G-Man described they were acting with him. So I... I I side on G-Man on that particular topic because I've watched them do it in streams before. Tobacco bait. The tobacco bait. Five, but five he would six. not take no for a fucking answer. No, that's right. And you know how G-Man is when he doesn't take no for a fucking answer. So we got stuck with all this shit. What? And then on on my birthday. Hold, 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 hold on one second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Um, 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 and 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 everything and whatnot. Um, what do you mean you were stuck with all the shit? A bitch, that was your shit. That was all the stuff that you and Jason left in that guy's house. What are you talking about? And he brings you five hundred dollars worth of Delta Eight. That's what he said. It was like, he said it, one part was like $350 and then he brought y'all some more after that. Around $500 worth of Delta 8. Girl, stop. My birthday. G-Man asked me, and he was late on my birthday, which, ugh. So on my birthday, he asked, what's the one thing you want? Me? I asked, you know what I want for my birthday? A fucking pizza. <laughs> a fucking pizza. That's all I wanted for my fucking birthday. A fucking pizza. You know what that stupid motherfucker got me? Delta 8. It's like, what the fuck? I wanted food. Oh, my God. What? She's acting like a complete two-year-old here. I want food. Then get a job and buy your own. Or say thank you for the people at that time that were giving you, giving you food. There's a food bank. There are churches. There are charities. There are all kinds of governmental services that could get you food. But you won't do that because that's not the, the right kind of food that you want. I love how they say, that, oh, we can't cook because we're in a motel room and, and, you know, we have to get things that are in packages and blah, 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 blah. Well, it turns out they have a mini fridge. They have a microwave. And there's people that live there full time that also cook food, which is why G um, Jason recently did a stream where he's talking about how his next door neighbor made him spaghetti. Made spaghetti in the room with the, the terrible water, apparently. And they ate it and loved it. Okay. <laughs> Drag the bully. Thank you so much. This is what happens when you play Hungry Hungry Hippos on hard mode. Mm, I agree. In Shani's latest video, she was asked for an air fryer. Yeah, she did. And what's crazy is that she had an air fryer that somebody had gotten them and she never cleaned it. She could get her ass out of bed to throw stuff down the stairs when she was mad at Jason. Patrolling hookers, right? Or supposedly trolling hookers. But she can't go downstairs doing the same amount of exercise to clean the air fryer so they could take it with them. I, I just, I don't understand how every single time they move to a new location, they are so incredibly lazy that they won't take the things that they use every day 
like clothes, air fryers, TVs, and put it in the car to take with them. Instead, every time they move, they just start all over again and then bitch and complain because they don't have all the things they had the day before. I, I don't understand. I, I just don't understand that. I'm sorry. <laughs> My baby girl. I don't like being hungry. I don't like being hungry. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll shed a tear for you uh, later, maybe. But now you know how your kids felt. Now you know how you made your kids feel. Because I also find it interesting that you are this upset over not getting a pizza for your birthday than you are losing your children. And all she wanted for her birthday was pizza, right? I, know. I don't like it. I don't like the feelings. I don't like the cramps. I don't like the gargles in my stomach. I don't like the nausea that comes with it. Hmm. I hate that feeling. You know what I mean? That fucking feeling. And, and, and G man, among all fucking people, you are literally proven that Christians starve. Well, that was a strange premise to begin with. I mean, that's it's that's nonsense. So I don't know who originally said that, but it's just not true. You're proving it. Because cause you like to brag, oh, I was providing them for this and this and this and this. Food? You know what providing food to G-Man is? He, and this is for like three weeks of food for G-Man. Noodles and noodles. Oodles and noodles, <laughs> a thing of bread, and some peanut butter. Yeah. And you know what? When you're homeless, that is fucking food. You ungrateful bitch. That is food. You can make peanut butter sandwiches and make yourself some soup. When you have nothing, girl, that is food. Wow. Wow. That Amber check member for 13 months couldn't think of a more deserving person. Me either. Sames. And some cereal. Sometimes. And some cereal. Half the things I can't even eat because I'm allergic to. What? <laughs> That's true. What? She's thinking of another lie. Lots of ramen. I can't eat ramen. No, me neither. Oh, the you can't. sodium's too high. That makes me swell so bad mm. that it's so fucking painful. So let me get this straight. You will eat all this other bullshit that probably has triple the amount of sodium in it, but God forbid you say you're hungry and G-Man brings you noodles. Like ramen. Girl, stop. There's... Other reasons why you are swelling, you are 600 pounds. You're going to swell regardless because you are immobile. If you would get up and move around, get some circulation going, your joints would feel better. You would start to lose weight and you wouldn't be swollen all the time. It's because you sit in that bed 24 seven. Uh, famously, G-Man shot his mouth off in on the Drunken Peasants where he claimed that if there are starving Christians in Africa, they aren't real Christians. True story. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you're right. He did say that, which is ridiculous. All these people are just morons. Yeah. That's what it is. It's so fucking painful in my body. Well, every time I eat, every time I eat ramen, and not only that, I get heartburn with ramen. Same here. My tongue goes numb. Tongue oh, with shit. fucking ramen. Your tongue go. Girl, stop. What's up, Peepy Gate? What you doing? Uh, U.S. Army seventy seven. Thank you so much. X to doubt she has any food allergies. Looking at her in this video, you would be correct. She does not. I love how she's saying, I can't eat bread 
because I can't have gluten, but give me an entire pizza to eat by myself. Make that make sense, folks. Yeah. I have an allergy to MSG. Yeah. My <laughs> mom did too. MSG <laughs> what? Okay. So that stream got cut off, and the next one that showed up was J-Man. Let's get something straight here, ladies and gents. Shani for Shani is basically saying that I owe her. Shani, listen to me very carefully here. I don't owe you nothing. Do you hear me? I don't owe you nothing. Okay? I said that I was going to be nice and do something for you. Then you decided to come on YouTube and get on here and be Shani. You decided to come on here and be a jerk, reveal information that you wasn't supposed to reveal, which wasn't even 100% accurate to begin with, and getting on here and just talking all this smack and attempting to put me in my place. I don't owe you nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now, uh, as far as Rev goes, I might still do what I'm saying I'm going to do for Rev. Because, Jenny, at the end of the day, let's just be clear about this. So, just as a reminder, this was before G-Man... Oh, <laughs> you're welcome for the screenshot, folks. Get, get him while it's hot. So, this was before he found out that Jason had lied about the tire. Because what he basically goes on to say is that if he finds out that there were no shit ninjas that came around or tire ninjas that came and slashed the tires... And he found out that it was actually a blowout, which he already knew. I mean, let's just be real. G-Man is a liar, just like all the rest of them. Okay. But uh, this was when he was still trying to defend Rev just a little bit. Careful, Bernto. Shani is so hungry she could eat you. What hungry person would pass on some toast? Right? <laughs> yep. That's why I stay over here. <laughs> you didn't give me anything. Anything. Like, do you understand that? You gave me nothing. Nothing. Absolutely, positively nothing. So if I choose to still do something, after I do what I need to do, it's going to be with Rev. And Rev's going to have to agree that you get absolutely nothing out of it. And I mean absolutely nothing. Because you got to learn some humility. It's about time you start learning on how to talk to people, to learn how to submit, talk. and to learn how to shut your mouth when it's time to shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. You ain't in the position to demand anything. True. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But again, let me remind you guys, uh, G-Man is still a piece of shit. He may be spitting some facts right now about Shani, but in the end, he flip-flops. So, beware. I'm in love with Judas, Judas, oh, Judas. No. I'm in love no, no, with no. Judas. No. Oh. La, 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 la. Are indigenous peoples gluten free? Nope. <laughs> Fry bread's not, but no. <laughs> well, you know what? Technically, we made bread out of corn. So I guess, yeah. Originally, we were. We didn't have wheat in our diet till like 1800s. So. Hey, G. Okay. So You're this welcome. is what G Man really meant to say when he said, "I sh you welcome, Irv. Shannon. I don't owe you any money." <laughs> what he really meant to say is, "Shanny, you have a tits and vagina, and you're married to someone, so I owe him money, not you money." You're not married because apparently, when you're in a marriage, your finances aren't together, which is kind of funny, G Man. Actually. Um, <laughs> Especially if you look in the past and all the times you were given money by me, it was by the money apparently I don't own. 
you don't own it. Like there's, okay, okay. You're not married. It's his money. It was actually his mother's money and his dad's money. They worked hard to invest properly so that there could be money to begin with. And they pass it to Rev. You never wanted to marry him because you always wanted to have one foot out the door and one foot in the door. So it was never anything legal. You guys were never even common law, husband and wife, because you were still too lazy in Colorado to fill out the paperwork. And now you're in PA who doesn't even recognize common law marriage and you won't even get legally married now. Ask yourself why, Shani. And this is what is so crazy to me is that Jason is so uh, manipulated and his brain is such mush right now. He doesn't bother to sit back and say, wow, if this woman actually loved me, why is she abusing me? If she actually loves me, why won't she marry me? Mm, ask yourself that. But you were so willing to take money that I don't own. According to you. You were so willing to take that. So what what happened now with the money that I gave you? Was it was it wh what happened? Why were you so willing to take money that wasn't mine according to you, Jason or or G Man? What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, I know. You need an excuse to be a jackass toward me, but yet you forgot the little fucking detail. Of it was the female that was giving you money when you were on your uh, last leg. Every time she talks like that, oh, what happened? There I am. <laughs> okay. Every time she talks like that, it like I just brace myself for another N word. <laughs> like when she gets that little sing songy, crazy bitch, psycho kind of tone in her voice. I'm just bracing myself for another N-word. Um, she perfectly describes symptoms of uncontrolled diabetes. I have diabetes and I recognize the signs, thirst, swelling, eyesight, fatigue, and confusion. There are others, but that's there's a lot of people that have pointed that out. And I find it very interesting that that is the only disease that she will not claim to have. She just recently added autism. She claims she has autism. She claims she has um, uh, cancer again. <laughs> she was supposed to have died like two weeks ago. Like the stuff that she just comes up with is so disgusting. And then she gets upset when people who actually are dealing with those things call her out and say, you cannot lie. And so you have those things to e on the internet. And then she gets mad. She wanted one foot in the door and one foot in that single mom welfare. Yep. Yep, for reals. So whose money was that? Did you did you steal the money? Did we both steal the money? <gasps> G-Man, quit it with your fucking bullshit. Everyone knows I was giving you money. Now you're saying it wasn't mine to give. You're an idiot. I love when she calls other people idiots. All right. She okay, so this is uh, G-Man's response to that. Danny, so you want to continue this nonsense? Check this out. Okay. So this is what G-Man really meant to say when he said, I, Shannon, I don't owe you any money. What's up, Reno? What he really meant to say is, Shanny. You have a tits and vagina and you're married to some. No, I'm not saying that because you're a woman it has nothing to do with that. It has absolutely nothing to do with that. That's how you perceive it. One. So I owe him money, not you money, because apparently when you're in a marriage, your finances aren't together. Now, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, you was actually married to Rev. I'm talking about with paperwork where if anything happened to him, everything would belong to you. Or let's say you mm. had a joint bank account where the two of you were married and everything that he had was yours and vice versa. Um, then it would have to be in a form of a loan and you never loaned anything to me. You gave to me. Now, since the whole world, including YouTube, actually knows that the two of you are not married, you don't got an argument. So I don't owe you anything. What you know, it is a sad day. 
when G-Man is the one making sense. You know you have to be so wrong, so wrong, when G-Man is the one who's correcting you. Oh, my God. Can I ask you a question? Do Shani and Reb still have sex, or are they too hungry to engage? <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. I don't want to know. The wrongest you've ever been. Exactly. What you did was give away uh, Reb's money. That's what <laughs> you did. You gave it to uh, your mother. He wipes her ass. That's their sex. Oh, God. Ugh. You gave some to me. You gave some to drag. You gave some to a whole bunch of other people. All right. And according to you, it was a charitable work that you did. You were just trying to help people out. So if you're trying to help people out, where exactly do you get this I owe you stuff? Which is kind of funny, G-Man, actually. Um, especially if you look in the past and all the times you were... Okay, that's very um, that's very interesting. She says fibromyalgia gives her electrical shocks. I have fibromyalgia and the shocks are from withdrawals from Symbolta, not fibro. The, you know what? There's a lot of people that are saying that a lot of the things that she's claiming to have right now are withdrawal symptoms from various um, medications, drugs, alcohol. And I tend to believe them because the stuff that they are describing does not sound like it lines up with the diseases that she's claiming to have. It just doesn't. We're given money by me. It was by the money apparently I don't own. But you didn't own it. All of that money belonged to Rev. And the only reason I don't make a YouTube video with him verbally saying it, and I don't have to, just go to XS Archive, XX, or to go to, um, what was the other one? Fund the Archive, and you'll see what I'm talking about. It wasn't your money, Shani. It was Rev's. It was never your money. It was Rev's. You were so willing to take money that I don't own. According to you. Which is why. By the way, that water sound that you hear in the background, I'm not sure if that's g man stream or Shanny's stream. But it would be interesting if it was Shanny's stream because she claims they don't use the water. Just saying. Why I said I'm willing to help Rev, provided that Rev meets certain criteria. Yeah, you were sounds... so willing to take that. So what what happened now with the money that I gave you? Was it was it what what happened? Why were you so willing to take money that wasn't mine according to you, Jason or or G Man? What happened? What happened? What happened? <gasps> oh, I know what happened. You spent yourself into poverty and you believe that everybody owed you something. And when I was helping you, you wasn't being very grateful. That's what it was. And I just got sick of it, Shani. I just got sick of it. We all got our um, points where, we, where, where we're like, you know, enough's enough. And you reached yours. I done had enough. Oh, I know. You need an excuse to be a jackass toward me. But yet you forgot the little fucking detail. I don't need any. The electric sock sensation is a characteristic symptom of SM. I don't know what SM is. Trust your friendly. So here's the thing with Shani, though. She lies. And this whole idea of her having electrical shock feelings in her body, I think that she's actually making that up in itself because that was never a thing until another content creator called Irate Alex started talking about symptoms that he was having in one of his streams. And she used to watch him religiously and then bitch about him on her channel. And so Irate Alex went through a very lengthy process of dealing with all of these uh, symptoms. And he was later diagnosed with MS and has been very open about all the symptoms that he has and all of that. The second that he came forward and talked about what he was diagnosed with, she, that very same day, posted a community tab post on her channel that no longer exists and claims to all of a sudden have the same exact symptoms. So you have to understand that when Shani says that she has uh, symptoms of things, she's lying. Every time somebody says that they are going through something or they just went through something or they were diagnosed with something, she will steal their story 
Or if they say, oh, I went through this abuse or that abuse, she will literally steal their story, repackage it, and present it as something that she has experienced or that she is currently experiencing. So when she says that she has certain symptoms, it's very difficult to tell whether she's actually having those symptoms or not. And um, she has been to doctors recently because of the kids being taken or whatever, and she hasn't been diagnosed with anything. She tried to get disability. They're not giving it to her. They're not diagnosing her with anything. So just keep that in mind. Oh, and, oh multiple scores. Okay, I see what you're saying. Uh, she learned my wife had MS before Alex. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that's exactly what I'm talking about. And there was another time where another content creator named David Anthony, he was talking about a story of abuse that he dealt with with his mom. Like within 24 hours later, Shani had repackaged that exact story with details and everything and claimed that that's what happened to her between her and her mom. So she's just absolutely full of shit. An excuse to, to be a jerk to you. If I wanted to be a jerk to you, I'll come up there and see you in person. Have you ask me for a pizza and give you a hot dog? You know what I mean? If I wanted to be a jerk, I can be a jerk. I can be a jerk right to your face and you know I can. As a matter of fact, I'm still thinking about doing that. So uh, again, um, I don't need an excuse to be a jerk. That's not what this is about. What this is about is that you thought you was going to be laying on your behind all day and just, and just living off of me for the rest of your life. And that simply wasn't going to happen. I told these YouTubers that it was temporary. Um, um, I, I told you to your face on multiple occasions that it was temporary. But you're just sitting around talking about something. You're waiting to die. You know what I mean? You want to sit there and just play your video games all day. And you don't want to actually get up and go do something with yourself. I can't support that. Of It was the female that was giving you money when you were on your uh, last leg. And now that you're on your last leg, I did a lot for you. And you and, and you want to know the thank you that I got from you? You're sitting there talking about some, I bought your ramen, I bought your peanut butter, and I bought your bread and stuff that you're allergic to. Okay. In your brain, you still think you're worth $700,000. That's the problem. You haven't accepted the reality that that money ain't there no more. You haven't accepted the reality that, that you and your man squandered all of that money. And it's that's a big leg though, right? It's a big leg. It's about time you started taking a look at your life and taking it more seriously. So whose money was that? Did you, did you steal the money? The money belonged to Rev. It did not belong to you. And I'm not the only YouTuber that will say that. It did not belong to you. As a matter of fact, if you want to be technical, you was dating, or should I say, Ooh. shacking up with somebody who had a lot of money and then putting fatherhood on somebody who clearly wasn't ready for that responsibility. I find it amazing that myself and Jules and Drag, Secular Opinion, Grampy, uh, Black Eye TV, Miss, literally all of these channels have said the exact same thing that he just said. We say it and we're the evil reaction channels. We're bullies, right? But G-Man says it, all of a sudden he's spitting facts. Just want to throw that out there. And Rev knows I'm right when I say this. Did we both steal the money? <gasps> G-Man, quit it with your fucking bullshit. Everyone knows I was giving you money. Now you're saying it wasn't mine to give. You're an idiot. No, you're an idiot. It's Anybody can take somebody else's money and give it to somebody. The money was <laughs> never yours, ever. It right? was never yours. There have been plenty of times on camera where Rev had to remind you that it was his money. It was his money. It was his money. There's video at the video at the video at the video at the video on YouTube where he's saying, um, you know, it's, it's his money that his mother left him. It wasn't yours. You was dating somebody. As a matter of fact, Shandy, tell me this. What's stopping Red from getting up and leaving right now? What's stopping you from getting up and leaving right now? It's not like you got to file for divorce or anything. You want to know why? You're not married. You're not married. <laughs> he's your boyfriend. Favorite part. You know, okay. And it's so then Rev does this, and he's like, the name of this is Hello Jay here, my mental health. 
this should be fun. It's like you just thank you for that blessing to that person. God bless you and thank you. Um, just everything helps, you know. But I, I'm just being real and... Number one, the internet connection is not really good enough in this place. But but secondly, secondarily, I would say, I didn't want to do this live because of my mental health. And that's my main thing I'm coming to you with. AKA laziness. Got it. Wasn't there a video where Rev woke up to give to her giving away his money to her mother that abused her? Yeah. So I remember that video. I think I have it. Yeah, there was a lot of things that she did financially and sexually to him without his consent. I'll leave it at that. It is that over the past, this is this has been a progression, right? Because I had I'm I'm not I'm not self-diagnosing myself, but I have read up on what what is bipolar, right? I've read up on it. And I could go down the list and go, yep, 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 yep. Like it's 10. Like he, he doesn't seem to understand that you could Google anything and find out that you're dying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the worst thing that you can do when you are feeling like that you need to go to the doctor is to Google it because no matter what you pick, you're dying, right? You need to go to an actual professor, professional, get a blood test done, do various other tests to find out what's actually going on with you. Googling something and saying, oh my God, I have like nine out of those 10 things. I must have that. That's not called diagnosing. <laughs> That's not real. Because it could be that you have none of those things and you're just being a liar. So there's that. 10 questions. Could you be bipolar? I get yes on 10 out of 10. So I can explain it to you in terms of just terms. I have times when, boom, I'm feeling like it's the best day ever. But then literally 10 seconds later, I could be tanked down in depression. So, that's, okay. That's so people that, okay. So people have told me that that does not sound like bipolar. That switching, I could be wrong. I'm just saying people who actually have it, who've been diagnosed with it by an actual professional have told me that that is not how bipolar functions. Uh, Hogtie Champ says, Rev says, not self-diagnosing, then immediately self-diagnoses with bipolar, then promptly uh, mentions rapid mood swings, which is literally the biggest contra and Indictor of bipolar, LOL. Yes, exa that's exactly what I was just saying. Yeah, that is, that pretty much says that he doesn't have that, <laughs> right? Um, burnt toast, I'm bloated, crabby, craving weird food combinations. Yep, I'm pregnant. Google says so, right? <laughs> Apparently, that's what it is. You're pregnant. How I'm, you got twins. My current mental state has been. And that's why I was totally willing to that's go up, into therapy and treatment for this. Because I know I need it. Because it makes relationships in my life can be unstable. And I don't want that for Shani because she's amazing. I want to be the man that she needs to provide. But th this is broken. Do you know what I mean? And and. Oh, they're still in a hotel, uh, Kelsey. They're still in a hotel, yeah. A lot of what this has to do with is the swatting in Colorado. Oh, my God. The stuff with the cops was just way over the top. Th this is what I'm talking about. This fucking idiot can't get it through his head. It was Shani who called 911. I think Jules just went over... That whole thing on her channel, was it yesterday or the day before? Shani called 911, you fucking moron. Nobody swatted you. Shani called to get you locked up because she was wanting to get rid of you.
because she thought, oh, if I get rid of him, I'll just spend all his money. But then she ended up getting arrested because she admitted to the police that she hit you. And then you also admitted that she hit you. And there's pictures of the gigantic slash marks on all up and down the left side of your body where she beat the shit out of you with a whip. <laughs> so try again. And it caused us to have to move and, 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 and drop all the stuff that we had and move over and over. It's like this is where the evidence comes in of, of harassment and, and the stalking and stuff, guys. I'm telling you. He may be referencing the neighbors making the noise complaint when Shani was getting loud and violent. Yeah, probably that too. But either way, it wasn't swatting. So in one case, Shani called 911 and they get evicted for that. In another case, uh, they were behind in their rent by like $20,000. And they were getting noise complaints by their neighbors of domestic violence and child abuse. That'll get you kicked out of a place. <laughs> What's up, squids? Because there's monetary loss of massive amounts of money. And that's where the, the money went, actually. It's, it's, you can't expect to drop everything you have every time. and you. No, she's not in jail. Lose everything and you have to replenish it over again and over again. Because of this, the internet treatment, it's an open and shut case. And I'm not saying anything in malicious terms to, to drag not or anybody. I'll even, I mean, I have no reason to not use your name now. You know what I don't mean drag. So it doesn't matter. You know, a lot of people say a lot of stuff on the internet and, and then you know what I mean, drag? And I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the, 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 the G to the M to the A to the N. Yeah. He's I'm so talking weird. about him, G-Man. Just say it, you know, dummy. People got, they say a lot. There's a lot of talk, but the walk, you know. It is what it is. But I'm going to definitely tell you, okay, and, and I think any mental health professional could observe the way that I was like a year ago and like now it's like you can see I got like shaky about me and it's like uh it's been it's it's been a really bad trip in terms of and this is just the truth you know when you get authorities involved it's extremely stressful fast forward like a couple of weeks and he's begging people to call adult protective services on him like he's asking for it. Uh, did you hear where Shani said they were drunk in the yes, I did hear that. And we're gonna we're gonna after this right here, we're gonna play that. Because you're waiting for the knock at the door that it's like a cop again and, and it's like, what the hell did I do? Do you get what I'm saying? I'm very much dealing with that paranoia and and wanting to shut in and lock my door when there's stuff I need to be doing, you know, and that's that I, I, I really need prayer, prayer on this stuff. Oh, uh, the next you thing. You can even hear it in my voice. I don't <laughs> sound like the normal rev that's like ready to go and like do a show or whatever. Yeah. Like that was the first I'm time. Not. Mentally, I'm really, count really struggling <laughs> mentally badly. And I'm, I'm, I'm really just trying my best to not, you know, crack, you know, like have a real psychotic moment. That's, that's honestly where I'm at. Cause the level of shit, I got these shakes and shit and it's really bad. And you know, our EBTs run out. We don't got any money for food or water or anything. That's and a lie. We can't drink the water in this place because there's E. Coli in the water. That's so a lie. We can't drink the water. We would drink the water if we could. We can't cause we'll, be vomiting <laughs> profusely and obviously we already went over that earlier i mean there's no e coli in the water they're lying about that and the um office has unlimited supply of bottled water for them so you gotta boil the water here but nobody's has a a a a a, a, a hot a hot pot a hot top uh, nobody has an oven hot top to yet your next door neighbor can make you spaghetti <laughs> Okay, bro. 
spoil right. the water here. I mean, I guess I could <laughs> microwave it. Ill. What a oh. liar. Because we... God, oh, that, yes. God forbid they have to boil their water and then drink that. Oh, my gosh. Guys, that's peasant water. Mm. It's not going to work. So my point in saying that to you is humbly, as, as a Christian, and I'm in men need with no money uh, to speak of, because our last hope, I don't even know what to say about it, because I, I was kind of standing back as a bystander, not getting involved, until... Uh, U.S. Army 77, thank you so much. I am new to Shani also. I am in law enforcement. When they left Colorado for PA, was it a criminal eviction or a regular eviction? Um, it was actually technically both. Let me explain. So March of 2021, she did a stream where she held up paperwork and was reading off of it and said that the apartment complex was going to be evicting them for due to non-payment by the end of, I think, July of 2021. However, before that, fast forward to May of 2021, they get criminally evicted because, and she held up the piece of paper and showed it on screen. We all have the, the videos of that. Um, and they were criminally evicted. And that was for, I believe, um, like domestic violence, uh, possible drug use. And there's like certain criteria for that, but they were criminally evicted. She, she showed up the, um, the pink piece of paper and, and showed it on screen. So technically they were already in the process of eviction because they weren't going to pay the rent. They didn't have the money to pay the rent. And then they were actually kicked out officially because of the criminal eviction. So there's that. Nick James, thank you so much. Bully Toast, reviewing the man, baby, the adult baby, I see. Jason, at my job, my position, I'm by myself. My legs are sore a lot. Lifting with my legs, still working. I buy my own real weed. <laughs> Love you, Toast. Yes, imagine work. Imagine work. Thank you, Nick James, for six months. I appreciate that. Yeah, they were, they were like... I think by the end, they were over $30,000 in back rent. It was a lot. Their rent in that townhome was like $3,000. They should have, they had no business getting a townhome that expensive. None whatsoever, considering they were on a very limited budget and they weren't bringing in any money to replace the money that they were rapidly spending. So, yeah. Until Gary starts stepping on Shani's feet and saying lies. Because, gee, man, listen, I'm just going to, look, I'm not going to hold anything back in the video, okay? I, and this will stay up. This one will stay up for a while. And God bless the reaction community, okay? God bless you and seal you in Christ, whoever's there. Is there anybody home? Is there anybody spiritual left in the reaction community? I just blessed you in Jesus' name, okay? Yeah, I hope you make it, okay? Accept Jesus in your heart and then repent and, and baptize yourself. And, you know, just go in the shower and say, Jesus, I need to be cleaned. And that's like a baptism, you know? If you don't like church, I don't like church either. Fuck churches, whatever. Always talking about the devil and not Jesus. Churches. Really? That's what you guys do all the time. Name me one stream where Shani has not screamed about somebody burning in the lake of fire. Get the fuck out of here. They want to condemn everyone. Well, Jesus is about love and acceptance. And uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of bullshit. There really is because people. I don't know. It's this the, the, this this Colosseum thing. Like G Man feels like he has to prove something to someone. I don't. So you'd, I'm really you don't, like, but you feel the need to do all of these videos for your um, uh, girlfriend slash mommy. Okay. 
Channy said you should do this because, like, you're dealing with this, and you should let people know how you're feeling, and, and, and I'm doing it. Like, like it's an open heart moment here, right? You, I'm Reverend Dude, whatever. But, but, but honestly, it's Jason right now. You're talking to Jason, you know. Jay, if you knew me in my life, 90% of the people that knew me call me Jay. My mom called me Jace, J-A-S, Jace. That was her name for me. But everybody called me Jay, so I'm Jay, you know. You got Jay today, you know, the kid from high school even, because I've been feeling that way, like high school, like shakes and shit. I used to get shakes in high school, you know, and I, I think a lot of that was pre-diabetes probably. <laughs> oh, my God. So he's now claiming you have diabetes? No. That I look at it? Yeah. Man, I loved sugar then. I did. Wow. Like, I'd have to talk to my friends about what we used to eat, man. Holy shit. We'd get some, like, Domino's and the desserts, you know. Uh, like the lava cakes and stuff. Like, like Oreo treats and stuff. And just eat, like, five of them. Like, oh, my God. You know. Bruh, some... if you had diabetes. Okay. If you had type 2 diabetes and you ate, like, five of those cakes, you would be dead. That's not something with type 2 diabetes can can eat, but whatever. More self-diagnosing, folks. Binging going on with our crew, you know, binge eating. But that ended, you know, because I, I, for me, you know. Well, that's a good question. I, Did they even have lava cakes back then? I have no idea. This this will be my shocked face when if we find out that they didn't exist back then. Mm, okay, yeah. Yeah, he's definitely liabetes, okay? Try to get looking not so uh, unattractive or whatever. I, you know, that's all perception. All that bullshit. I see that now. I don't, you know, I come on here with the Jack Torrance hair pretty much. I got Jack Torrance mixed with, like, Simon Pegg deal. And I'm, I'm cool with that. It looks different. It's kind of like Firestarter uh, fucking what's the, the prodigy. I'm a twisted fire starter, that dude. I'm no, it's um, Munchausen's by proxy mixed with uh, Shanny abuse. That's the look you're going for right now. Sorry, bro. I don't know your name in the prodigy, but they're amazing. The prodigy. See, I feel Homeless a lot better chic. already. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is why, like. Uh, people don't understand why Shanny make videos and why 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 do people like us do this? Mental health? Do you get it? It's not hard to understand, I think, for anybody. Everybody has had a moment in their life, I think, where they go, holy shit, what the fuck is going on? I can't take any more of this. I think pretty much everybody. You know, if you haven't, it's probably because you're young youngsters if you're watching this go away get the hell out of my channel what i'm protecting you leave get the hell away okay uh if you're notice how he keeps looking off okay so where he's sitting right now is across the room from shanny so back behind the camera is shanny sitting on a bed staring at him that's why he keeps looking over at him at her Whatever it is. If you just heard what I said, and you haven't had one of those moments where you've been pressed like, holy shit, it's like, you know, a boot on your face on the ground, like crushing your jaw. That kind of, like, stress and tension in your jaw, like you're fucking twitching, you know? If you have not experienced that, then you don't know what I'm talking about. Just, you, you're not, you're not old enough. I'm telling you, it's either, people of age have gone through it. So I'm I'm gonna be 40 soon, okay. I'm right behind Shanny Bear, my girls. So <laughs> I'm sliding right into that port. The magic stare of love. <laughs> uh, she's swinging a sex whip while he makes these videos. <laughs> Better yes, as hard as he can. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh Yami Jackie, thank you so much. Hey, you listen here, you little pop tart. Liabetes is a serious illness that makes you have this horrible tumor that dominates your life. Yes. The 
the tumor is called Shani. Okay, so I've lived a, a, some. I've had a much more easier ride than others, like Shani, bless her, you know. But um, I can absolutely tell the next you thing... that, that <laughs> I'm talking about the now, the oh, here. There's yeah. another one. Oh, Ooh, another whoa. one. I don't know. It feels like like revelation stuff. Like 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 the riders on the horse are just trucking up there. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. I oh, feel again. Like, I, I don't know. Like massive disturbance in the force. Like Yoda having a stroke. Like, oh, Oop, you know? Again. Like the, what's <laughs> happening in, in the? He's caught in a loop. Is like supercharged volts. 50,000 unstoppable watts, you know, like cows. That what the fuck the is he talking about? A game on my grandma's Apple II computer. Not Apple II. What? It was just the first Apple computer, and it had Sticky Bear on it. I wanted to make a video talking about Sticky Bear. <laughs> See, this is great. This is, I love it. This is why the Lord gives you a wife that's a good wife, G-Man. You need to listen to review this, G-Man, okay? That's why you need a wife like Shani, like I got. You need a wife like her. Who beats you and starves children, beats elderly parents, tortures and makes fun of their siblings makes false accusations of sex crimes to try to ruin people's lives because she's a bitch? Eh, hard pass. To point you in the right direction of what to do when you're really, holy shit, what the hell am I going to do? Which is where you're at. You're trying to mask it with, I need, I don't need nothing. I got all money, 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 what, it, what money? It don't matter. I got, yeah. You're putting a mask on, dude. And, and like in a few days, I'm out with nothing. So like I got nothing to lose at this point, bro. Okay. <laughs> Believe it or not, you have a lot more to lose. <clears throat> and I'll be sitting here with popcorn the entire time. Uh, Squid says, sometimes I like to daydream that he's actually Shani's robot boy toy that she programmed. <laughs> it's the most logical explanation, in my opinion. Yeah, it. He has been completely molded by her, and it's fascinating. What a juxtapose between how he acts and looks now, and this just the, the state of his life now versus how he was back in 2016 before Shani showed up at his front door. It's astounding. When Rev laughs, he looks like the stoned scream mask. <laughs> Yeah, kinda. The truth is, you could have could have been doing stuff with that house a long time ago, and that's a fact, man. You had time to be doing it. You could have been renting that place out the whole time and 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 making money on it. Do you know Jesus with the talents, Gary? You buried your talent. Oh my God, isn't that true, folks? It, it really is. That property wasn't in such bad a shape that you couldn't rent that out to somebody the whole time that you had it. Uh, well, I mean, no, that's not true. At one point, the house was technically condemned. Like, there was a hole in the ceiling. So, no, that's that's not true. Um, he's done a lot of work to it now. But back then, from what I've seen and heard, no, that house was not livable. It was just not livable. Um, somebody asked something. I th I really think he's using again. I don't think he ever stopped. That's my opinion. I don't think he ever stopped. Making money, but you didn't. Gary. You didn't do that for whatever reason. And, 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 uh, I got, I got, I got a family thing I could talk about too, but there's no way I'm going there. Period. Because I respect. 
I respect elders. I, I, I show respect. Okay. And that's all I'll say about that. Spell but respect. Yeah, my mental health, it's just one second I could feel crash and burn, and the next I feel like really, really good. But it, that's tiring the shit out of me. Like, you got to be able to see it on my face. Like, I, I'm pretty exhausted from. I mean, you sit around and do nothing all day in a dark hotel room. That is enough to make anyone depressed and enough to make anyone do nothing but just want to sit around and sleep all day. Another good reason why you should just get a fucking job. Get out of that room. The mania and then the pit and the mania and the pit and the mania and the pit. It, it's, it's, it, I, I, I hope I explained it as good as I think I, I explained it the best I think I can, but even the way I spoke shows you how I'm feeling cognitively. Like that, a fucking Max Headroom or some shit. We're having some fucking glitches in the m -m 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 matrix shit. You know what I mean? Like that. Like um, the cognitive issues. I've been having definite cognitive. It's drugs and withdrawal. <laughs> uh, when was this? This was September 28th that he did this. Issues that have been developing over the course of the last several months, I would say. And I think it's due to traumas. Like I didn't fully work out the shit that happened to me. I just stepped out of it and said, okay, I'm new and I'm going to move on from it. And I didn't even address like all the really crazy shit. I think that's probably it. Like the cops was, it, it really holy shit when authorities get involved and it's it's like paranoia and and it's really hard for it to go away because it's like holy shit i'm innocent man like what the hell is happening and then you find yourself being questioned like you're some kind of criminal but you were a criminal <laughs> you committed a hit and run on a car with a child inside and then they had to track you down and find you at your apartment try again and it's really holy shit you know, and the internet did this. They did by calling authorities on us so much to troll us because you think it's funny. It resulted in real life stuff, which is why a lot of people are, a lot of you are going to get sued someday. It's just a fact. <laughs> Sue me, bitch. Can't wait. Because your behaviors led to people's depressions, people's S attempts. Mm. Like, so, right. So what about your behavior and Shani's behavior leading towards one of the children's S attempts? Oh, wait. Self-harm attempts. Do you get what I'm saying? This is massive liabilities you have under the law that you're going to have to pay for some of you people because it's provable. You have channels on, 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 on the usual suspects in terms of videos. You, you, you have channels that have videos bullying these people, which include me and Channing, definitely. Oh, you're such we're, victims. We're going to be in whatever class action lawsuit. We might be right at the right. top. You don't even know. Right. Yeah, you're going to be in the same one that Bullhorn Betty is also going to be in, right? <laughs> wow. Can't wait. You don't know that. <laughs> Lol suits. G-Man's right at the top. You don't know that. Neither do I. Because, Gary, you said to me many times, you said, I, there's things I don't tell you. Yeah, I know. I was totally open with you, and now you're going to drop some bombshell on me. What the hell? What the hell? I am your fucking brother, and I've been in the background for this most of the time, dude. I didn't want to bring myself into this at all. But you're grabbing me like, like the, you know, you can be sometimes kind of like, you know, like wrestle you with, you know, you can grab... You're grabbing me by my hoodie and and saying you got to fight with Shanny in the ring, in the WWE fight, and I was kind of being like Shanny's manager, outside the ring, like coach. Ah! Hey, G man, do you remember? Wow. Okay. 
Yep, that's right. Class action, Lowell, Suit, Corky, Shanny, Rev, BHB, and Helton. Let's not forget about Helton. Who is the ultimate victim here? Remember Coach? So with the whistle? With Mr. Perfect? Yeah, you remember Coach. <laughs> right, what that was that? I'm like Coach on the outside just whistling on Shanny going, yeah, Shanny, go, 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 Shanny. I have no idea what he's talking about. I wasn't about. bringing you into any. I didn't want to address this with you. Because I, I, I felt like it was a thing between you and Shannon. But, but, but it's, it's just I got to be involved because, because I can't sit here and, and hear bullshit about Shannon <laughs> and, and, and just not say anything. I'm a fucking loot. I'm, I'm worse than a <laughs> loser. I'm, I'm a, he almost said I'm a loser. Oh, I got to see that again. I can't sit here and, and hear bullshit about Shannon and, and, and just not say anything. I'm a fucking loot. You are a fucking loser. So proud of you for admitting it. I'm I'm worse than a heathen. It, I'm I'm a I'm a piece of trash. I'm doing what I can in my current mental state. I'm going to be honest with you. In my current mental state, I probably should be on some sort of hold, and and it's like because it's I'm so unstable. It's it's very it's 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 very up and down down and up 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 and down 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 and up. It's 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 very unstable, and you can probably tell by how skittish I am. I feel like something's going to happen bad right now, like something bad's going to happen. But that's when the coping me mechanisms come in, and I do have this coping me me mechanism that I know of, of of living in the now. Okay, I'm in a chair. What? I see my love. And she's playing her switch. There's nothing wrong. I That's not a coping mechanism. That's called delusional and denial. To sit there homeless in an abusive, toxic relationship after abusing a child and going to jail for it. And now you're living out of a motel begging for people to give you a pizza And you think that coping is sitting there and saying, I'm here with my love and nothing's wrong. I'm pretty sure that that's not how that works. I see watermelons sleeping. Things are peaceful for watermelons. <laughs> yeah, that's sleeping. drugs, right? I'm living in the now. Everything's okay. <laughs> and man, that works. It does. It's synergy again. But for someone like myself, I think that I have a mood disorder. Uh, what? God damn. Shani's so good with all the nomenclature of psychology because she's brilliant. And yeah, brilliant. let's ask Shani to self-diagnose you again so that you don't get it wrong, so you don't get beat up later. Sure to do that. She's into it. Um and there pe there's going to be people that are like, why are you talking so good about Shani? You're worshiping Shani. She is my fucking wife that I love. And she You're not married. That's your girlfriend. Okay. The Shah of Thirst, thank you so much. I'm going to take full credit for their pizza craving. <laughs> Can you imagine food? Like, it's, it is amazing to me. Just think about it for a second here. Like, they have EBT, or she has EBT. All they have to do is go to the Dollar Tree or go to the grocery store, which both of those places take EBT. There's food pantries. There's churches. There's charities. There's all kinds of places they could go to to get food, to get um, job training and someone to help them Buy them a suit for an interview. Like there's so many places that would help them better themselves, but they don't want that. No, their plan is to e-big on the internet. And now it's gotten to the point where even using their EBT is too much work. They're now too lazy for that even. So now they want adult protective services <laughs> to essentially treat them like children. I cannot. She's an amazing girl. Like, if you knew the real her, 100%, you'd love her. She's amazing. Um, emotional dysregulation disorder? Is, the, is that one of them? Emotional dysregulation Quick, disorder? Google it. Diagnose me again. 
I want to be precise about what I'm talking about because I'm evaluating myself. Because <laughs> I'm not that mentally gone. I, I, A crazy person evaluating themselves. I also love how he's not that mentally gone. But the second you mention work, even raking leaves, all of a sudden he's too mentally gone to rake a leaf. Okay. I know that I hear things a lot of times that aren't happening, which is why I'm supposed to be on disability. And all you people that keep uh, dogging me about a job, it, I'm telling you, the therapists do not tell me to get a job. That's not true. They're like That's probably too much for you right now because you do hear <laughs> voices. He doesn't go to a therapist. They don't go to doctors. So all this is bullshit. I do. Okay. That's not something that's supposed to be around people that it could go wrong. And I think I hear something that I don't hear and it ends wrong. It's protecting other people and me. Do you get it? That's why therapists all this time. I wasn't going to therapy because I was telling myself, you're normal. You're normal while drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking. And that's how I was medicating it with drinking. Then I dropped the drinking with Shani and I, I use, I used marijuana in Colorado. Oh, you used a lot more than that, bruh. Like we're not stupid. Okay. Uh, I wonder if they sell their EBT benefits for cash for substances. There's a lot of people asking that same question. I'm wondering that. Because why is it she gets her EBT and 24 hours later, they're saying that they have no way to get food? So I'm wondering if their plan is to trade EBT for whatever it is that they're doing or for money to get whatever it is that they're doing, thinking that they're just going to beg people on the internet for pennies to buy a pizza here and there. That, that's what I'm wondering. To deal with it. Can't use marijuana here. It's not legal. Period. So I don't do illegal shit. Danny <laughs> can tell you when, when she first got to me, it was like, no, I'm not any illegal shit. We're not doing it, honey. I'm just not into that. And she's like, cool. I'll agree to that, you know. But anyway. Living in the now is the way to deal with it, the best way to deal with it. But but it, it's 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 that there's I feel like there's a lot of sandbags that I've been carrying around. That would be Shanny. And it's like, Jesus, this weight. <laughs> yeah, Shanny. I don't think I can pull it anymore, Lord. Like I I pulled it up the fucking hill and keep running up that hill. <laughs> oh my God. Please you don't know? sing that song. That song is definitely, there's something in the spirit with that video. We got to watch that video in a second. You know, like, there's some kind of spiritual thing with that song and video. Definitely. That Kate Bush song. I don't know what the song is. Called. <laughs> Please don't it's sing it. Running up that hill. for it, it, Don't stranger sing it. Things has repopularized her music which is amazing because now she's like making huge money when she never did that's really cool yeah imagine uh, somebody creating something okay. worth listening to and they get to get money for it wow bush i hope that happens with the tento saga yeah no or i'm gonna start the marketing it's it's tento that's it it will be known as the Tento universe. Or trash. Get an editor before you re-release that shit. For the love of God. Or use, use Grammarly. Spell check something. I said that the other day someone said it's about 40 cents on the dollar and Pennsylvania for two adults is 518 a month plus 95 more in some areas because of the sea. I'm not sure if you're talking about the room or what, but the room that they're in is cheaper, a lot cheaper. It's like $389 a month. No, I'm sorry. It's three. Yeah, I think it's $389. And then they have to pay an extra $20 for the cats per day. 
So it's a little cheaper there. Because there's a lot of stuff that could be done with it, definitely. I was thinking about writing some more stuff for it, but I think I did enough. It's like the, it's like a four-part baby, and then they're like eggs, you know, incubating eggs. That that, that somebody no, they're they're eggs that are waiting for somebody to kind of take up and put in an incubator and you made a new baby and you could own the baby that oh, okay that's not going to happen um somebody was asking about what was it i just saw the just saw the comment who's paying for that okay thank you claire so that's something else that's very confusing to me uh, G-Man claims that he's not paying for the room anymore. And then they were still there after they claimed that they were going to be kicked out and homeless in the Durango. Well, they're still there. They're still there in the hotel in the same room. So Jason claims that no one's giving the money for the room, that it's actually the guy at the counter that's the guy in charge is letting them stay there indefinitely until they find housing. X for down on that. I don't know if I believe that. I really don't. I think that probably the uncle is giving them money. Um, I think that's a bad move on his part, but people are going to do what they're going to do. So That's right. That's it. You see, Shannon, because I'm saying... The Tento universe, if you authored something completely new that's in my universe, that's your baby. You can market it yourself. It's yours. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. I'm okay with that. It sounds like CPS is paying for electricity. They don't have to they don't have electricity bill. They're in a motel. So the only thing they owe is for the room. And that covers everything. So and personally, I've never heard of CPS paying for anything. There probably is CPS workers that will refer them to an agency, a governmental program that will help give them assistance in paying bills. But CPS in of itself does not pay people's bills. They have other people, you know, referred to them. Uh, U.S. Army, thank you so much. Hope they're not selling their EBT, PA, New York, MA, and CT have a task force catching people selling their EBT. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea what they're doing, but it's, it's sus AF. Whatever they're doing is evidently not something they want people to know because when adult protective services showed up, they're not letting them in the room. They won't let anybody in that room. So there you go. <laughs> I don't know. If you make a successful fanfic, you go man that's awesome because i have i have actually since it's it, folks the book came out in 2008 so i put that out pretty young and i was in the running for the dream realm award which was the biggest going independent published uh award for sci-fi in the time i wrote it in 2008 the dream realm award 2008 i was number two I doubt that. Were there three people involved? Bruh, you self-published on Amazon. You didn't get an editor. It was riddled with fifth grade mistakes. And the actual story of itself didn't make any sense. I don't believe you. I was number two. I was the runner up. For the best. And the guy that won was 60. He was writing books 40 fucking years he was writing books. I was second. I'm taking that as a win. Okay, I just am. <laughs> Self-published uh, uh, award. That that was me. 2008, I was second. That's it. Oh my God, get up. over it. So anyway, people want to say... It's this is like some 40-year-old <laughs> man talking about... I won the talent show when I was in sixth grade and get like, okay. You know, whatever you guys, 
I love your reviews. Go review the book. Because the more reviews I get, it doesn't matter if they're bad or good. It's got traction, so please do it. <laughs> the Rento so, saga. Um, <laughs> wow, I got off on a tangent there. I'm sorry. But this made me feel a lot better. I rambled for like a half hour almost. But but don't believe the propaganda about Shanny. The anti shannyites That's the crew. You're anti shannyites You're you're absolutely R words. You're R words. You're like that guy. Mein Kampf. That guy. You're like them. Wow. Don't be a shanny. An anti shannyite Ooh, sick burn. Don't be an anti shannyite because she's really awesome, man. And like she's tried so fucking hard. She's tried so hard to be what you want her to be. And yeah, exactly. Uh, at least I don't body slam kids. So I'm going to consider that a win for me, just personally. She don't need to do that. She's her own person and she's confident in her own self. But she's wanted to be something in the 100K, you know? And it's not about money, really. It's about, it's about saying I did it. And, and, and those dreams are just shattered by people that don't they just want her to suffer, man. <laughs> so, Hashtag pro anti, what was it? Pro anti Shaniites. Yep. Today you didn't get revelation news. You didn't get rev. You didn't get the reverend dude. You got Jason Egroff. Like totally. Like it's just me, dude. It's, it's Jay. You got Jay. That's who you got. You know, neurotic as I can be sometimes. And, and, and I get these th the fucking shakes came back and I don't know what this is. And that's why I really want to be withdraws. It's called withdraws in constant mental health care. That's what I need right now. And I have these weights on my back, like, holy Shanny. shit, where the hell are we going to go? I don't know what I'm going <laughs> to do. Like I'm cracking. That's the best way I can put it, man. I'm not, I don't intend on hurting myself or anybody else, but I, I'm just extremely not in a good mental state, very shaky and unsteady and, and, and extremely like exhausted mentally. But I, I am in the here and the now. And I know that today I don't have to worry about not having a roof. I know that praise Jesus. I have another day. Praise Jesus. And, and Jesus, can you please give me the, the sight and, and the strength and, and, and the no, uh, just Lord, can you give me wisdom to know what to do next? Because I still have time to think about what to do. Lord, can you please give me wisdom? And it's those Christians that are real Christians. I love you. Can you join me in that, in asking the Lord for understanding and peace? Because I translation he doesn't want to actually have anybody help him he wants a handout he wants to be treated like a child put in a facility and have other people wait on him hand and foot that's what he wants he may end up getting it but it won't be in the way that he's expecting i need to understand what i'm going to do for my family um it's a it's it's a huge responsibility and and i want to be the man i want to be like G-Man says, the alpha male in the... Yeah, I want to be that. I want to be the alpha male in the relationship. Um, and I take care of everything for my woman because she's precious. And I don't... That's unrealistic expectations, my dude. Uh, you can start by getting a job. You can start with that, maybe. Just a thought. I don't want to have her struggle for anything. That is real chauvinism. That not sh see chivalry. That's actual chivalry. <laughs> real chivalry. Words are hard. To take the burden of your wife if she has any. That's being like Christ. See, G man, I really hope you listen to that because because you know I love you, man, brother. We're always gonna love each other, every one of us, deep down.
but the deeds that we do to each other, the Lord hates. So why would we do that to each other? Why would we, why would we be throwing stones when Jesus said, put down the stone? I think that's really serious, something you have to think about, Gary. Why the stones? Well, you're going to say that Shani started it. I Maybe, I don't know. I, I Look, I'm going to be honest and straight up. I remember her making a video about you, yeah. But I think it was her giving her opinion on a, a, a subject. You can't muzzle the woman, and that's what that's your problem, Gary. That's your problem. I, I don't really want to make a video. Maybe I should do a different video about that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get to the point. I'm going to do another video after this. Ironically, uh, there's actually a lot of females that are calling Shani out and have called her out for a number of years, myself being one of them. So We got to have a talk, brother, in public because it's been this shit's in public. We're going to talk. Peace. Okay. Uh, that's a super long one. Okay. So I wanted to show you something that apparently, let me get the timestamp real quick. Hold on one second. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Huh. Okay. Let me get this real quick. Sorry about that. When was this? Three. I'm getting the timestamp, folks. Thank you for being patient. Uh, what's up, Mellow One? You can't muzzle a woman, you know. He ain't wrong, <laughs> right? But is Shani a woman? Really? Like, James, thank you so much. Jason makes me mad when he's like, I'm tired. My body is tired and very sore. I work and go to the gym and work out. Jason, stop being adult child. Yes. He's being a big baby. Um, for some reason, it's not... Okay, let me go to the original video. Sorry, guys. Go to the one he just posted. Because somebody told me that they got drunk and told on themselves. I'm assuming it's the one from, let me just go to his channel. See, I don't know which one it is. Um, Irv from the chat, if you can tell me which title it is. Let me see. Hold on one second. So it's not that one. And the problem is he keeps deleting stuff. Uh, clip is in Drag's Discord. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oop, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Downloading that right now. Thank you so much. Oh. Okay, found it. Shout out, shout out Thirst for posting this. See if you guys can hear what she's saying. Can you guys hear that? It's very, very low. Interesting. 
Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I think I may um, find where that is and enhance the audio and then post the clip later. That is very, very interesting. Okay. Somebody just sent me an email. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to enhance the audio so I can hear it better. But yeah, it does sound like she's saying that uh, we're drunk. That's what it sounds like. Wow. It does sound like that. Let me go on. Let's see. Okay. So this is the, okay. Let's see if this will play. Okay, cool. So this was the next, um, <laughs> this was the next one he did called a big thank you and God bless. And again, I have no idea whether people are actually giving them money. I think that Obviously, people are giving them enough to stay in the room, which makes me kind of mad. <laughs> um, whoever it is, stop it. Just stop. But yeah, here he is thanking someone for giving them money. And whoever's doing it, I hope you know you're, you're feeding their drug habit. That's what you're doing. Hey, guys, how you doing? Um, I just like want to cry and praise God because I woke up this morning to like some help and I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody that did it I didn't look I, I, I just saw what was in there and I just praise God and, and, and thank you like a lot to everybody that cares to anybody that cares I really appreciate it um, but but I, I really don't know how much longer uh I can go on like this without having to be institutionalized, like for real. Uh, when you're suffering from mental illness and there's really nothing that anybody can do around you, it's like it's like screaming without a sound. That's the best way I can put it. it. It's screaming without a sound. But um, Jesus is God. And um, I know I still got him. I know I still have the Lord. But um, yeah, just continue to pray for me. And um, just this is mainly just to thank everybody. Yes, uh, thank you, Lucifer for Almighty. Being lazy isn't a mental illness. PSA. Whoever gave, thank you so much. God bless everybody. <laughs> okay, so this one is called Yes, I Am Entitled. I am the king's daughter. So she gets kind of loud in this. I tried to fix the audio. Earbud wears, beware. She gets kind of mad because this is after people started calling her entitled and GMN was calling her entitled. And so this is her response. Oh, you get your cool garments. So, yes. As you can see, yes, I am entitled because I am a daughter of the Most High. I am the daughter of Jesus Christ. When your mother and father forsake you, know that I will pick you up. He is my father. Jesus Christ is my mother. He's everything to me. And when we're down, he picks us up. 
even to the point of placing mercy on your enemies' hearts just to help you out. And I want to thank everyone that is helping us out because that means everything to us because both of us in this situation are not doing well mentally or physically. Jason's having a lot of cognitive problems right now. He's shaking really bad. Withdraw. And he's talking about things that I'm trying to help him with right now. Um, so this is what I've noticed a lot watching them the last couple of years. There's a lot of times where he will say something that is legit. Like it's an actual thought. It's not crazy. He will actually express an opinion or a view about something. And she gaslights the fuck out of him and makes him think that he's crazy or that he has some cognitive issues, quote unquote. And then the next thing you know, he does a video saying that he's going crazy that day. And so I wonder how much is he actually having these thoughts and how much of it is her just gaslighting him? Because I think that a lot of it is her gaslighting him. And I want prayers for him. I need prayers for Jason because he's, he's my world. He's everything I have left in this world. And I love him so much. He helped me when no one else would. He's He's been there for me when no one else would be there for me. He's been my rock for for a long time. Even, even, even when we weren't together, he was still a rock a lot of ways because I looked at him as my minister, my pastor. Yeah, even when you were married to Chris, you were still having phone sex with him. <laughs> wow. You guys are so, such each other's rocks, right? The one who I really built my faith upon was upon the words of Jason William E. Groff. What? No. Yes. I be became a Christian because of you. That's and I listened to your words. That's beautiful. When you but, would preach. But yeah, but I pointed you to the Bible. So. I know you pointed me to the Bible. I know you don't want to take that credit. I know you're humble. No, that's so. This is another manipulation tactic that she does all the time with him because she knows that a way, like a soft spot for Jason, um, is his bizarre brand of Christianity. And she knows that if she gasses him up in this way, he's gonna be more malleable for her to manipulate him and and keep him close because she's super, super insecure. And she constantly worries that he's going to leave her for someone else or, I don't know, take a shower and make a friend. And she can't have that. She has isolated him from all of his friends, from what little family he has left. Uh, she isolated him from everyone, just like she isolates everyone. She did that to the kids too. Wouldn't put them in school. Wouldn't let them have friends over. It's the same. It's the same bullshit that she does to everyone. Beautiful that that happened, but it but is the you Bible. you were but you were my minister. That's cool. You were the one who taught me about him, and, and not only taught me about him, but taught me about love and how to accept others and how not to judge others and everything. You you taught me that. Well, was, for the love of others, is you. I was an Cooney atheist too. before you, Jason. Yeah, I, 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 I know that. I was. So that is a lie. At least she's lying now or lying before because I was watching Jules' uh, stream the other day. I believe it was yesterday. And Jules played a clip of Shani talking about it was one of the first conversations that she was having with Rev on, like, I think it was Google Plus. But she was actually talking about how she was already a Christian when she met him so either she was lying then or she's lying now i was a very angry person and that's what people are still trying to pin on me i know that when the thing is, is my heart has gotten so softened there's like no no hardness in it no bitterness in it or anything 
You know, I forgive people for the shit they've done to me. Even G-Man, I forgive him for doing this to people. Amen. I forgive him. I forgive people for their ill words. I just... I just wish it would stop at this point. You know, the, when they say you dump the cow and you'll be better, that, that, that hurts me. Because it's like... <laughs> I've been there for you, for your worst, while everyone was fucking shitting on you. I was there for you. When everyone was shitting on me? Yeah, when you had wet brain. They thought... They... They were trying to pin it on <laughs> me that I put you through wet brain. That right. I wasn't taking care of you right. Hashtag dump the cow. I know that. I wasn't taking you to the doctors and all of this bullshit. Mm -hmm. I know they did that. I wouldn't expect anything different from them. No. <laughs> but it's like, I did my best with everything I had in me. And I said yesterday, you did great. You had reins of everything and you did great. That's from the owner of the shit. I said it. Do you, you honestly know. think that? Yes. In the time that I had wet brain, yes, you were dealing with, with the rent payments, making sure the rent payments were always on time. Having sex with you unconscious. Oh, whoops. Did I say that out loud? Yeah, she did that too. The Whatever needed to be taken care of, you were there. Yes. You did great. Thank you. Yes. You did great. You're my best friend and... You're my confidant, and mm -hmm. you mean everything to me. I feel the same about you, honey. And I wish people would just stop attacking our relationship. Because yeah. we've struggled a lot in it, and we've both dealt with mental health issues. Yeah, me more now than at any time in my I, life. I know, honey. I know, and I'm there for you, and if you... I don't know what's going to happen to me, but if you really need to go, go. Oh, no. Like, I would put that off until you're in a place solid, wherever it will be. Think about what he just said. He's talking about how he's about to, he's on the verge of a mental health crisis. And he's willing to put off his own mental health to stay with her stank ass in that roach motel because she's too fucking lazy to get a job. If she really loved him, she would want him to get help. But she can't stand him being away from her for two seconds because she's so fucking insecure that she's worried about him making friends with somebody or dating somebody else, finding a, an actual woman who, I don't know, takes a shower, brushes her teeth, all of the things. He put it off to stream too. Yeah, he sure did. I mean, how abusive is that? Again, think about it this way. All the shit that she's saying, imagine if she was the guy and Rev was the woman. There'd be a hell of a lot more people upset right now than they already are. Just saying. Do you know what I mean? I would put that off from going into a place. Maybe. I'd what put if that you off. can't put it off? No, 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 no. Because you have nobody. <laughs> no way. Rev is in the dark because he's in Shani's shadow. <laughs> that is funny. Oh, did he just post a new video? Okay. Okay, let's, let's watch that. Hold on one second. All right, guys. Let's see what he posted. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on one second. Okay, so here is the new video. Hey. This is called, Please Continue Helping Us. Thanks. 
and the voice of the new Mario destroyed my childhood. Wow, this should Guys, be fun. Up? Wow, it is a dreary day here, I'll tell you that much. Um, so you ain't going to see me, but that's okay, you know. I'm, I'm here, though. See, there's Doing man. it live. <laughs> so um, God bless everybody, okay. I always want to start with that. I want to remember to start in blessing people because we've been blessed in this time and seen many people that have come forward and, and really helped us during this time. And I'm telling you, we wouldn't even be eating if it wasn't for you guys. That's the truth, because I can't get to a place with the EBT card. It's just not possible anymore. Yeah, it's yeah. it's not possible because he won't walk down the street or across the street or next door. Sure. Well, so if you want to help and fulfill the need, you see that down there. That's that's the PayPal, and you guys have been so much uh, responding. We need food and drink, so whatever comes in, it gets used. You know, I want to thank somebody you donated yesterday. I want to thank you. Um you're providing, you're helping, you're helping us survive. Who is donating to them? You should be ashamed of yourself. You are enabling this behavior. Also, uh, you got scammed. Congratulations, geniuses, whoever you are. They're getting free bottled water from the hotel. It's unlimited for everyone who lives there. So congratulations on getting scammed out of money to buy them something to drink when they're getting free water because you know where that money's going. Five here. So with that said, uh, this is much less, uh, let's say, um, Revelation News type stuff, okay? But this is very something near and dear to my heart because I grew up playing the Super Mario games, okay? So I do want to comment on this. So... I heard that they were doing the Super Mario movie, and it it does turn out that it's 3D animation, which is super cool. That's that's what you want to see. Um, I may, you know, I could even say regular animation, not 3D. I would like to see it that even, like old school looking Mario type animation. I would love if they did a movie like that, but no, since it's 2022, we have to do everything in in cg uh freaking you know 3d animation i i mean if that's what you have to do you have to do i guess being a modern company so that's fine but i heard who was doing the voice for mario and and they said it was this chris pratt dude who i am honestly i i'm not a fan of modern cinema much like if I'm watching a movie, it's probably going to be something new that I found from like the 70s or 80s or 90s. Uh, and I like modern stuff to me is just, I don't know, like save a couple movies like Pandorum, which is probably one of the best that Shani told me about that movie. And I saw that and I was like, wow, OK, they can still do it then. Um, I can only assume the Christianity shtick is working to get them donations. Yeah, they do it because they pull on the heartstrings of people who feel sorry for them. And people will give them money because they think giving them money is helping and what they're doing is making it worse. Uh, Jenny says the only reason Shani is a Christian is to manipulate others. I would agree with that. She only sees that as a tool. Like when she was an atheist, she used that as a tool She's had periods of time where she claimed to be a Satanist, claimed to be um, a witch, claimed she's claimed to be all kinds of things. And each and every time she uses it to manipulate people and to beg for money. But yeah, like save a movie like Pandorum, like I, modern cinema is just anathema to me. It's it's crap. So I, I don't even know Chris Pratt. I didn't know who the hell it was. I know Jack Black. I, I love Jack Black. Um, and he's doing Bowser. Like, I got no problem with that. I'm sure he's fine with that. <laughs> but uh, they have absolutely really, in a way, destroyed my childhood with, with this Chris Pratt Mario thing. Uh, so I broke down, you know. I, I'm like, I didn't want to even think about the existence of this movie really, but it's out there and, and, and people talk about it. So some people donate 50 cents to troll. Yeah. I mean, I don't have an issue with that because they can't buy drugs with that. My issue are the people that are paying for their hotel room that are giving them $50 
to buy drugs. That that's what I have an issue with. I, I broke down. I went to YouTube and I was just going to look up like an interview with Chris Pratt and see what his voice sounds like. But no, I, I saw it. It was a short. It was a really short little segment of Mario in the Mushroom World. And, and he goes, what is this place? And that's it. I shut it off. The movie doesn't exist to me. It, this is so disgusting. You can't. The guy is still living that does the Mario voice. You can't have him do the Mario voice. Now, maybe it's 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 because it's kind of a, uh, what's the word? Um, <laughs> I can't. Right? Uh, Zara and Shapeshifting Monkey, exactly. He broke down. Rev, you're homeless. And Mario is what made you break down. He broke down to the Mario movie, right? Again, more upset over this movie than abusing the kids. Right say the word that i'm thinking ethno of Italian? yeah thank you it's it's ethno uh eth yes ethno eth yeah no well no that's not the word that i'm but but it's close enough <laughs> people will know what i mean if you if you think of how mario talks uh, you know that stuff they're so stupid but it might seem a little unkind that <laughs> there you go that's why I'm thinking they did it, actually. But what <laughs> is Luigi in the movie? Yeah. Guys, Mario, this is the last straw. I don't My think life he is. is over. I, I, maybe he is. Who's, who does Luigi? If Luigi's in it, maybe they're going to save that for another movie or something. But thanks. Because of who put this out? It's Disney, right? Is it Disney that put this out? Yeah, I'm not sure who's <laughs> doing this, but... Thanks again. <laughs> Y'all are hilarious. Just saw something about new Mario. I need protective services now. For absolutely decimating and destroying my childhood. Thanks. <laughs> my gosh. Oh, decimated his childhood. Not his mother. Who didn't teach him how to, I don't know, adult anything. No, not, not his mother. Not his girlfriend who abuses him. Okay. No. No, that didn't break him. No way, guys. It wasn't any of that. It was the Mario movie. I am dead. Wow. Okay, guys. Uh, hitting the two-hour mark, and I actually have to go adult myself. So I will find that clip of, of her talking about them being drunk. I have everything downloaded, so I know that I have it in case he decides to go back and delete it now. But I will enhance the audio and release that as a clip, hopefully today. Promise you guys that. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday. Uh, again, tomorrow, normal time tomorrow night, I'll be on Hannibal Monty's show for Hour of Lulz with Monty. Um, we're going to be doing cringe cooking. So last week we did Shani cooking this week, he's going to surprise me with somebody even more disgusting, if that is even a thing. So I look forward to you guys there. Uh, thank you for everybody who showed up and made the chat fun. Thank you for everybody who donated. You did not have to do that, but I appreciate it. And you guys have a great day, and I will play you out. Actually, I'll play you out with a funny G-Man clip uh, from a channel. I'll put the link to their clip in the description after I'm done and then we'll play you out with cat piss because so many people have been asking about it because that room had no business smelling like that. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries. Dudes, how you doing? I I sometimes have a problem with saying stuff before I think about it. I I I I I I. <laughs> I feel like fucking Ken. You know, he is the chain breaker, breaker, breaker. Well, he should be flat earth flattering you. Get flat earthing you. Perfect. Ah! Cat piss. Breaker, breaker, breaker.
hard. Cat piss. Break up. Break up. Break up. Cat piss. Cat piss. Break up. Break up. Break up. And, and fucking give me money. That's a fucking beautiful talk. Fucking is beautiful. Oh. I, 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 I. Break up, break up, break up, and, and fucking give me money. Ah! Cat piss, break up, break up, break up. <laughs> the bra, and I smelled them. I did, and, and fucking give me money. That's a fucking beautiful cock sucking. Sorry, it's beautiful. Ah! Ah! Cat piss, break up, break up, break up. Fucking give me money. Break up, break up, break up, and, and fucking give me money. The bra, and I smelt them. I did. <laughs> when you can, when you can wear one part of my bra as a hat. Ah! Cat piss. Break up, break up, break up, and, and fucking give me money. Ah! Ah! Cat piss. Break up. Break up! Break up! Ah! Cat piss! Break up! Break up! Break up! And, and fucking give me money! Ah! Cat piss! Break up! Break up! Break up! And, and fucking give me money! Ah! Cat piss! Break up! Break up! Break up! And, and fucking give me money. I I cat piss. Break up. Break up. Break up. And, and fucking give me money. The bra and I smelt them. I did. And, and fucking give me money. That's a fucking beautiful cock. Fucking song. It's beautiful. Oh. Cat piss. Cat piss. That's a fucking beautiful cock. Song, it's beautiful.